Hello everyone and welcome to Be of Good Cheer, a new YouTube channel that has just been set up. The idea of this channel is simply to give you some encouragement, maybe answer some questions that you might have and generally be a series of short talks that will build you up in your faith and maybe give you a bit of a lift if you're feeling down. So today I'm going to ask a very fundamental question. What is faith? Now, if you go out into the street, you could ask people, what is faith? And you would get a myriad of different answers. Some people might say, well, it's a belief system. Some people might say, well, it's a code of ethics that you follow. Some might say, well, it's a way of life. You know, faith to me is a way of life. And some people might say that it's a belief in something that's not proven. Well, the Bible gives a very forthright answer about what faith is. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's in the King James Version. Another translation of the same verse, the NIV, puts it like this. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And another version of the Bible, another translation, the Amplified, expounds it even further. It says, now faith is the assurance, the title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Faith is a way in which we connect with God. And the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Now, for my illustration, you might be wondering what I've got under here. Well, I'm going to put you out of your misery. You don't know what's under here. You can't touch it. You can't see it. You can't hear it. You can't smell it. And you can't taste it. In other words, it can't be discerned by your physical senses out there. Now, I'm going to give you help on this. I'm going to actually tell you what is under here. I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper here. Can you see that? Crispy cupcakes. So the question is, do you believe me? Do you think that there are some crispy cupcakes under here? Do you think that, nah, he's telling me lies, there isn't anything under there? Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you rather not say. So when it comes down to it, it's really a case of, do you believe me? You've got a choice to whether or not you believe that I'm telling you the truth or not. Whether you believe me or not usually depends on how well you know me and what sort of a person am I. Am I trustworthy? What do you think my character's like? Do I care about you? Have I got your best interests at heart? Do I love you, maybe? Crispy cakes. Sounds good, doesn't it? But because I can't see them, how do I know that they're really there? How do I know that they exist? Have you ever heard the expression, seeing is believing? And have you ever heard somebody laugh at somebody else for believing in something that they can't see? You hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. Evidence. People say that they will only believe unless they have enough evidence. Well, the only evidence, as far as faith is concerned, is what is written in here, and whether or not we believe that to be true. The question is, Will you take the plunge and believe what God says in here is true or not? It's a bit like standing on the edge of a cliff and you can't really see what's out there, but you know that you've got to jump. But out there, somewhere out there, there is a rock to jump onto. Now that rock is the person of Jesus Christ. The question is, will you take that leap of faith and jump out onto that rock? The Bible is God's word. Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 63, The Spirit gives life. The flesh, or the senses, counts for nothing. 
The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. So we need to look inside here in God's Word and see the things that he's promised us. Life, health, peace, prosperity, goodness, forgiveness, love, acceptance. Once we can see these things in God's Word, it's simply a case of us being certain of them and trusting that God says what he means and means what he says. Once I reach that place, I'm totally confident about what is in here, that's when the veil is lifted up and I can see into the spiritual realm, voila. I can now see the things of God, the promises of God, the love of God in the spiritual realm. Just because I couldn't see them before when the cloth was on them didn't mean to say that they weren't there. The fact was they couldn't be discerned by my natural senses, but by faith I could see them. And now I can see that they are indeed there. You can be sure that what God says in here is true, because in here it says in John chapter 17, verse 17, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. And in Numbers chapter 23, verse 19, the Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie. So now I can see God's promises in the spiritual realm. The next thing is seeing these manifested into my life, into the physical realm. And I'm going to cover that in the next talks I do. So there you have it. Everybody has the capacity for faith. It's more a question of, will you trust and will you believe what is written in here? I have found everything to be trustworthy in here but don't just take my word for it try it for yourself if you like what you've seen and if you want to hear more click on the subscribe button and there'll be more coming up god bless you all and bye bye